want to see your spookiest and silliest creations. Right now on KSAT.com, we have a community gallery featuring viewers' costumes. You can upload yours. Once again, you can do it right now. Several folks have already submitted their pictures. Take a look on KSAT.com. Uh, good ones there. All right, uh, your extended forecast, 75 degrees today, 49 tomorrow morning, 83 on your Thursday. Great way to finish out this work week. It does get a little more humid, a little more, uh, more heat can be expected this weekend, 88 Saturday, 88 Sunday. Hopefully some relief next week in the form of a front, some showers, some storms. That'll be Monday into Tuesday. And if you like spooky and scary things, essay yeah, live. I'm not sure that spider <laughs> didn't ruin milk duds for a lot of folks. <laughs> uh, was kind of in the roaches and what is that? What was that? What? I'm scared. <laughs> essay live starts right now. It's a creepy version of essay live. It starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. And this little guy's anything but creepy. Is that the cutest little pumpkin? Oh, and look Aww. at that guy. Oh, and yes, we're going to tell you all about a great cause about that big boy right there. All right, hello, happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, we've got a lot of Halloween fun for you on the show today, so we're just going to get right into it. Yep. Are you hoping to have the most beautiful de decorated house on the block this oh, Halloween? Wow. If you want your decorations to stand out, sometimes, you know what? You can do it yourself. Yep. Christy Davila, owner of Christy's Yay. Casa de Colores, is here to show us the fabulous. Yes. <laughs> She's been waiting for that. Okay. What are it. we making today? Well, first of all, welcome. Hi. From thank Happy you for Halloween. having me back. Sorry. I'm so excited. My favorite time of year. Uh, we're going to get started with the cheesecloth ghost here. Mike's already gotten started here. He has dipped uh, the cheesecloth in some liquid starch. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're just going to get started. Ring that out as good as you can. And he's going to be placing it on these balloons. And the balloons you'll see are, fill, are covered with saran wrap. Um, it helps. It's a really good tip to help with uh, getting the cheesecloth off real smoothly and getting that nice, fine, curvy shape there. Uh -huh. So he's okay. just going to toss that right over. Um, and then holding up those balloons is that plastic Coca-Cola bottle. These are um, items you can find around the house or at the Dollar Tree. Um, that's all you need is uh, some tape. Yeah. And that's where you found that cheesecloth was at the, the dollar, dollar store. store. Yes. But if you wanted to like layer it again, you could. Right? Yes, absolutely. It'll help make it a lot more sturdy. Um, and then that extra cheesecloth you could use for other decorations around the house. So it's nice, nice to have a bunch or, of fun tools like that. Or even the cheesecloth that you uh, find at the grocery store. That's to, right. To you could use that. With, it's so. a lot thicker, so it probably would would just take one sheet and, to get that sturdy that sturdy factor and, there. And you spread it out a little bit because this forms the base. Because this they, thing is, is freestanding. Yes, right freestanding. Okay. I threw some lights under it, and yep, it make a beautiful table centerpiece. Just now, would you leave that outside? Can you definitely. Wow. You could, but I wouldn't recommend it. It might melt a little bit. If it's like hot, humid, yes, or rainy, hot and humid. It's got to be cool in and a cool atmosphere for sure. Yeah. Okay, so now no. leave, leave this. <laughs> definitely no. Leave this alone for what? Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Don't yes, to do let it set to, to dry. It? Um, okay. If you want to put a blow dryer to it or a fan, that okay. definitely will speed up the process. Okay. Nice and simple. I love that. Yeah, okay. nice and easy. Next, what? we're going to be working on here is the spooky. Um, skeleton cage here and that one you can hang outside um, it's definitely weatherproof um, definitely affordable you've got two laundry baskets again from the dollar store mm -hmm. um, found some wire and um, some leftover chains from last year um, and Fiona's over here she is zip tying her skull to the basket um, I found that you know if you kind of prop it in a uh, Make it to your liking. There you go. That looks good. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you this is a super easy one. You could do with the kids too, right? or for family. Get your family together and make some fun decorations for the house. Get ready for Halloween. Yes. And then all you would do All you is do is put that basket right on top and cage him in there. And, and then zip tie this tie together. Zip tie it straight no, wait, together. Let's get the, let's get the I kind of gave it a little bit of gold uh, spray. I hit it with a little uh, to make it look more rusty and, and more weathered. Um, All right. I also poked a little hole on the top to get a hook there. Very, very simple to do. 
And the nice thing about this too is if you need the room to store it, you can just cut those zip ties, yeah. stack the baskets Easy together. Easy to store away, and you're, absolutely. And you're, you're good to go there and yes. uh, stick it in the garage or That looks in the great. Attic yeah, or throw like some that. web over it and toss it outside. It makes an awesome DIY Look Halloween decoration. Yeah. I love it. You guys are great. Top speed. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Love that thing. Next, right. next we got uh, something a little bit more complex. It's a little bit more for some experienced crafters but uh, what I did was just paint um, a milk jug this is made out of milk jug trash bags and some wire you could use um, a clothes hanger and kind of just straighten it out there um, paint you a little face on <laughs> again another little Dollar Tree um, hat decoration here to give her some hair and some accent um, this is what I do I prefer to make like a body underneath so it's like a, a loop and then you just Push that right underneath there. Oh, kind of like Run a, it. like a dry cleaning bag. There right? you go. Yeah. Yes. And there's the wire that's holding up her holding up. There her you go. Again. Yes, that's the wire there that goes underneath to okay. kind of help prop it, make it some have some arms. And you said you could even put a broom handle up there. Yes. And, or, or absolutely. A big, or a big I stick and stick it in the garden or something. Correct. Um, uh, they have these also at the dollar store. It's just a broom, plain broomstick. You just unravel the bottom and you could stick it in the ground and just. Stick it right into your milk jug and it'll hold up real nicely. Love real it. quick, you real even easy. Have, uh, t shirts as well, right? Speaking yes, t -shirts. yes. I make a lot of t shirts, yard art. Um, I've got some window art there also, all made by me. Um, and yes, I'm excited for Halloween. So, Halloween, I mean, probably uh, a little bit yeah. too late for but the wood decor. Thanksgiving for Christmas. Yes, Christmas order is now. a big one. Yes, I'm ready to take orders, so definitely reach out. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank Great. You. I, I love these ideas. Don't forget, Christie's Casa de Colores will be at the Halloween. Embassy local market on Saturday the 22nd. That's this Saturday, 10 to this 4. Saturday, yes. That's going to be there's food trucks, vendors, trick or truck, trick, and trick or treaters. There you it's go. at trunk or treaters there. Information, <laughs> go to our website, salive.com, click on the as seen on SA Live tab. It's Halloween season and lots of us are looking for something scary to watch. Well, you're in luck. The killer doll from the iconic film franchise, Chucky, is back. Season two of the TV series just started. And we have one of the fabulous stars of the show here with us, Bjorkman Arterson, who lives right here in the Alamo City. Welcome, welcome. All right, so, so far you're making it out alive, right? Yes, I mean, I'm, I don't know, yes. <laughs> okay, um, we don't know about your character, Devin, but of course you are here at least safe, okay? Yes. So, so for those who need a refresher, how does season one leave off and get into season two? Uh, season one leaves off with a really big finale in uh, the theater. A lot of people die, but uh, you know, it leaves our characters still alive and kind of just like, I don't know, kind of in a weird limbo of like, is Chucky back? Is Chucky really dead? Uh -huh. I don't know, it's kind of just where we start off in episode one. Well, I love that. A lot of questions, a lot of yes. questions up in the air. Answers are up there too. Can you give us a little behind the scenes secrets? You know, when you do things with Chucky, is there an actual doll or is it, is it all CGI? Uh, can it, you spill any secrets? I, I'm pretty sure I can. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the doll is real. It's a legit doll. It's like a robot, basically. It's a robot that has a bunch of moving parts. It's really cool kind of seeing it work and seeing all the puppeteers move it around. How many puppeteers does it take? Okay, more than yeah, one. It's, That's it's, already Yeah, impressive. it's like four or five or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it's a lot. Because there's two who are usually on the doll and then a bunch who are like moving the little parts with little controllers. Wow, that's got to be so wild to watch. So what is it like acting alongside that? Uh, it's kind of weird. It's like it's it's like a person because it, it moves around, it talks. So you know, it's not too hard to work with it. It only it's it's, it's only hard when the robot kind of like breaks and glitches out. But of course, it, that doesn't happen. <laughs> that never that never never happens. Yeah. Okay. And are you scared of Chucky dolls, or is this kind of taking that out? I think working with him, he's not scary. But if I did wake up and just see him sitting in my right. room, I would be scared. Well, that would be scary yeah. too. I think anyone, yeah. you know, like at the foot of your bed. What's up? Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 none of that. All right. Do you keep in touch with your co-stars when you're not filming? Yes, yes, we do. Okay. Uh, you know, it's kind of um, when I first went into it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be nervous meeting all these new people. But then we kind of just became friends, and like, it's it was super easy to work with them. Um, are you a true crime junkie in real life? Um. 
Yeah, I think I, I'm maybe not as intense right. as having you know like my own podcast about mm -hmm. it, but I do indulge in a bit of like stories about like crime and stuff because it's really interesting. Heck yeah, it is. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm also a true crime junkie, so I can't get enough of that stuff. Tell us what it was like stepping into the iconic series. You know, did you feel any pressure? Yeah, I, I, I made my own pressure. It wasn't super like no one was else was like freaking out, but I was done freaking out. I was like, this is like a beloved beloved franchise. I don't want to I don't want to go into it and mess it up. Right. But uh, yeah, I think I did a good job. People liked it, so I that's good. love it. You do great. Okay, so we're gonna play some Chucky trivia real quick. All right, and you have not seen these questions. No, I haven't. Neither have I. No. <laughs> it will be a surprise to us both. Here we go. All right, what is Chucky's real name? Okay, that's Charles Lee Ray. Oh, okay, see? All right, you knew something I didn't. Okay. In what year did Charles Lee Ray die? Oh, I don't know. Uh, like 1986. Ooh, so close, 1988. But you were close, you were so close, okay? okay. All right, how does the human Tiffany die in The Bride of Chucky? Oh, dude, this is hard. I have, oh no. Electrocution. <sighs> what was it? I, I don't remember. Electrocution? Maybe? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Electrocuted by Chucky. Okay. Um, how old was Andy in the first Child's Play movie? He was like eight? So close. Go down two. Six. Okay, for six. Yes, six. Okay, you got it. All right. Yes. And what do you, okay, all right, if you, okay, quick question. This Halloween season, if anyone runs into a killer doll, what is your best piece of advice? What should they do when encountering um, that? I think you should get on his level because he's kind of crazy. So if you are also crazy and like become his friend, I don't think he'll kill you. I think it'll take a bit longer and you can like outsmart him before then. So when you say get down on his level. Yeah, that too. And also kind of like, you know, if he's going to try to kill you, can go on your darkest side on your brain and kind of also become crazy because then he won't like want to kill like someone who's like kind of like him, you know? Right. Why waste? Yeah, yeah exactly. Talent, possibly. Mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Don't forget the new season of Chucky airs Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. on USA and Sci Fi Networks. For more information on our website, just go to salive.com and click on the as scene on SA Live tab. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, you know, what would you do if you ran into a killer doll, Mike? Because, I mean, you're always prepared. You're like a Boy Scout. Well, I don't know, because being a little like that, it probably moves really, really quickly. So you'd have to, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Get out the lawnmower or something? And <laughs> <laughs> Morbid. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, all this talk about Chucky got us thinking, what is, or who is your favorite scary movie bad guy? Maybe oh. not necessarily bad guy. Maybe I want to say, really uh, out, from but... all the Saw movies, The Voice. Oh, yeah. Because you never saw mm -hmm. who it was, really. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you did this, and it was that just demonic, almost, kind of a voice. What about you? Uh, it's not a bad guy. The, the girl who comes out of the well and the TV and the ring. Can't handle that. Can't handle that. Can't watch well, that Well, and then movie. the doll in The Conjuring. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 good one. All right, yeah. so let us know at SLFKSAT on Facebook and Twitter and see if you can creep us out. All right, still, <laughs> oh, didn't still work. out Darn on the it. show. <laughs> They're too cute to spook. Where you and your pup can enjoy some delicious food, a fun Halloween event, and even help a great cause. But first, if you're not looking for cute, how about creepy? We dare you not to scream when you get your hand. Oh, good Lord, we had to show snakes there. <laughs> get your hands on these critters where you favorite. can have a wild time. That's next on SA Live. for screens and others, well, they just need a run-in with, oh, maybe some slithery, <laughs> creepy, crawly friends. Well, Jared Forthman from Animal World State Farm Zoo is here with some animal friends that you can celebrate this Halloween. And Mike has got his shoulders full. Yes, indeed, <laughs> I do. What What is on me here? So We have one of our baby uh, Quadamundis. Yeah. Uh, that's Marco. We also Hello. have his brother Polo. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> no, that's my new earpiece. Don't bite that thing. So it costs money. Do you need money, some so. help? Okay, do you, do I don't you, know. Do you need some help? No, it's fine. Okay, okay. there oh, we you go. got it. Okay. 
Anywho. Hi. Anyway, they're just a couple months old. Uh, mm -hmm. there, there's some new babies that have been introduced to our Animal Encounter program. So these are a couple of the animals that you can book private, up close and personal really? encounters with, get Don't hands on, just earpiece. adorable babies. And they are always up to no good. And these well, are and, related and, to and, what? They're and, just 100 miles an hour. And they're related to? <laughs> they're related to raccoons. That's kind of I, 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 South <laughs> America's raccoon okay. right there. And should he take a step away from the table because, oh! Oh, Harriet! Oh, good boy. Harriet, let's uh, we don't chew the earpiece. Spider Wrangler. Okay. Oh, she moves fast when she needs to move. It's getting creepy in here quick, isn't it? Y'all would almost ended up on the floor. Y'all would have run out of here. You know what? I bet she'll be fine if we just leave her alone. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. You got. Okay. So. Okay. Harriet's on the loose. That's right. Um, she saw that coat of money there, yes, and yeah. that is one of their favorite treats. Okay, are the snakes that's nervous, right. or what's what's happening right here? Because they're looking, they're looking they're at. They're just Harriet. checking us out. I think they're like, "Hey, okay. Mike, is okay. Mike going to hold us today?" Okay. Or? And then we've got these hissing cockroaches here, right? That's right. That's the largest roaches in the world. What's a creepy event without roaches, right? Oh my well, good lord! Well, how about what's? I don't. That's poisonous, venomous, right? Yeah, that's right. But, oh, but my God. it doesn't mean you can't hold it, Mike. Okay? Really? So if you're oh. really gentle with it. Be them, brave. Seriously? Nothing Be brave. to worry about. Absolutely. Will it sting me? Oh, God. So it oh God. shouldn't. He hasn't what stung anyone shouldn't? all day. Don't, Be brave. Can you hold it? You're Jesus. so brave. There you go. Look at Not you. so bad, you right? I've you seen, look brave. <laughs> I've seen movies where people, like, get stung and they die immediately. Don't let it. No, you're afraid. It's I mean, all don't Hollywood. Don't let it smell. Free. Oh, it pinched me. Oh, oh, wow. It's <laughs> sure enough, it did. It's no, that, let me, that just startled me a little it bit. It let you smell your fear. Okay. All right. Um, Harriet's on the ground. I'm sorry. Right. Harriet's on the Harriet's ground. Harriet's making moves. Harriet's huh? on, okay. All right. Here we go. Come on, Harriet. Harriet. That so, just. Sorry, that's Tell us about Harriet. Me. There we go. <laughs> Harriet's just one of the tarantulas we have here today. That's a Mexican red knee tarantula. We also have this sweet pink toe tarantula that, um, oh, I'll tell wow. you what, she would really stand okay. out for viewers, oh, probably man. just crawling on that. You know what? You know what's so crazy? I, I can't even feel it. Like, really? it's that light. You would never know if this was crawling on you. You can't feel the night. big fangs on there? So. No, nope, not yet. Okay. <laughs> now, Okay, all tarantulas are venomous, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. But it, they, you know, unlike the movies, even though the the yeah. scorpion tried to, you know, take my finger off there. Um, See, they, I'm staying as calm as possible. I wasn't. They're not going to smell fear. Mm -hmm. I wasn't with them. I'm zen right now, Mike. <laughs> uh, they don't. They're, they're very reluctant to bite for one thing, these particular species, okay. and also their venom is extremely mild, so right. nothing to worry about. That's right. Okay, nothing over there we've about. got a tarantula and snakes. Boy, if anybody just has real fears, I mean, you're just freaking out right now with this. Scorpion, S scorpion yeah. trying to get out. Something we haven't, I don't think we've ever had on the show before, down there. That's right, you know, have, um, you know, Halloween is definitely known for monsters. Well, this is a real monster here. This oh. is a Gila monster, Hello. which is North America's only venomous mm -hmm. lizard. So we're going to be really careful how we handle him here. And they bite, and that's what does it to you, right? Like that's most right. They have uh, they have venom glands in their jaw there, and it kind of gets excreted into their saliva. So when they bite and hold on to their prey, uh, some venom okay. uh, is injected that Harriet's way. Harriet's making a move again. That's right. Off oh, the table. Harriet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> we right. need we, we do have some spider wranglers, wranglers in the house. Yeah. If we need to uh, <laughs> wrangle a spider there, we can. But it looks like she's holding on there oh, pretty wow. well. Look at that thing right there. She's that's making a, her way a... towards the audience. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you've got a big event yes. coming up uh, next weekend. That's right, right. Before Halloween. on the 29th and 30th. Check this out. Kids get in free, all right, if they're wearing costumes. This is like the biggest free Halloween event that you're going to find around. Uh, there's going to be trick-or-treating, lots of trick-or-treating, the good candy without tarantulas in the bowl, I promise. <laughs> a hay maze, face painters, uh, Halloween-themed animal shows. It's going to be an awesome time. Uh, definitely don't so want to miss fun. it. And yeah. that's on the 29th and 30th. They're that's at right. Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo. How low we Yes, there. Okay, October 29th, Sunday the 30th. They'll be face painting, as you mentioned, trick or treating, and a costume contest. Kids get in for free when they dress in costume. For more, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, Harriet, for all that interesting. It's going to attack the camera. Oh Look at that. My. She's on. She's this on. is like a bad horror movie, really. I mean, still ahead on SA Live, delicious food, and kids eat free. What you need to know to get this great dinner deal. And next. Are you new to Medicare or just have questions? It's that time of year to start making choices for your health plan, and we've got an expert here to help make sure you make the right ones. It's straight ahead on SA Live.
welcome back to FA Live right here at Historic Market Square. Well, the Medicare annual enrollment period has begun, and here with everything you need to know are Dr. Christy Clark, President and CEO of Health Texas, and Jeremiah Natashka. N Natashka, yes, with United Healthcare. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks, for, Thanks having for having us. us. All right, so let's start with you, Dr. Clark. Tell folks why it's why the enrollment period, of course, is so important and what they need to look for in a Medicare plan. Right. Um, right now is a very important time for anyone who has Medicare. Between now and December 7th, they're able to change their Medicare provider if they would like. You know, every year more and more people realize that Medicare doesn't cover as much as they thought it did. And so that's why around this time frame, every, uh, every year more and more patients are opting out of their traditional Medicare plans to choose a Medicare Advantage plan. Not only do they save money with their premium, they also have access to benefits they wouldn't otherwise have with traditional Medicare, like eyeglasses, gym memberships, hearing aids, dentures. I mean, some, some groups like, like United are even covering some grocery benefits as, as well as even electric bills. So if you're thinking about choosing a Medicare Advantage plan, I want to give two simple pieces of advice. Number one, choose a Medicare Advantage plan that you've heard of. Stick with the big name. Stick with um, a, a company, a health plan that's been around for a long time is going to keep being around. Also, they usually have simpler benefits to use. Maybe just have a simple access card to get all of your benefits. Secondly, make sure your primary care provider, your primary care team is used to working with Medicare Advantage plans. That's huge. We've been working with Medicare Advantage plans like United for the past 30 years at Health Texas Primary Care Doctors. So we know those plans inside out. We can help arrange benefits. We can make sure that you're getting the maximum of those plans, arranging transportation, accessing specialty networks, even home health services. So the right primary care team is crucial and can simplify a lot of these overwhelming options for people. And Jeremiah, what are some of the new features United Healthcare is bringing to the San Antonio area? Yeah, so really, really exciting news for 2023. Every single one of our plans is getting new benefits, uh, just exciting things for our members. So if you're a current member, thank you. Um, if you're not yet a member of United Healthcare, give us a call, see everything that's ex new and exciting for 2023. But we're expanding out our dental network. Um, we actually have the largest Medicare dental network that's out there and giving our members more flexibility. So they, they not only can see the dentist they wanna see, but also uh, get the care they need, including dentures, implants, that kind of thing. We're also expanding out um, our OTC credit, giving flexibility for members to access those benefits in store, as well as lowering co-pays on things like hearing, vision, and uh, seeing specialists. So really, really exciting things coming up for 2023. And of you know, right now, a lot of people are struggling with yeah. the rising costs kind of across the board. Um, and people on Medicare, especially because of that fixed income, yes. um, will the United Healthcare plans help address some of those issues? Yeah, so great question. You know, we've seen such significant inflation across the country. Uh, food's gone up 10 to 12% across the country. You've seen energy costs go up as much by, uh, as, as 30%. So, um, UHC realized, especially for our members uh, who have Medicare and Medicaid, our dual eligible members, that we, we really have to do more. And so we really are, we're giving those members a raise. We're, we're raising the monthly credits that they receive from the plan to help with things like healthy food and OTC, uh, the over-the-counter supplements, vitamins, those kind of things. But we're also giving them the flexibility to use it for home utilities. Nice. So electric, gas, water, sewer, as well as home internet to help so our members stay connected, yeah, stay, stay healthy, connected, yeah, stay, stay healthy. out of the hospital, just live mm -hmm. that healthier, more uh, well-rounded life and obviously keep the AC on, keep the heat on, get all that help they need. All right, love that. For more information, all you have to do is call Health Texas at 210-731-4864 or visit the website healthtexas.org. Dr. Clark Jeremiah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next on SA Live. It's supposed to be spooky, but it's just too darn cute where your dogs and kids can compete in a fun costume contest and you can enjoy some incredible barbecue. What else do you need? Welcome back to SA Live. Oh, oh stop it. Too cool for school right there. Barbecue and barks. Could you ask for anything else? No, my new pal, the wall from Barbecue D Smokehouse is here to tell us about the spookiest and cutest backyard barbecue happening this month. Welcome. Yes. The goggles are I know. just, I, I mean, know. That is Marilyn the Chihuahua and she is looking very much like a movie star right now. Yes, mm -hmm. so this is my bestie Marilyn. She was a rescue from the Animal Defense League and now she's a superstar on Instagram, Marilyn Chihuahua. Mm. 
Now, I thought we were doing barbecue. You have a taco right there mm -hmm. in your arms. Talk I mean, about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Food oh. is food. You know <laughs> <what I mean? laughs> okay, so you had us at barbecue and you brought a ton of good stuff. What do I have right here? So we have our brand new menu item, the Arturo, which is inspired by one of our chefs. It used to be on the secret menu, but now it's available for everyone. So we're going to start with that buffalo marinated spicy fried chicken breast. Put mm. that right on the bottom. Okay. And then top it with some of our famous creamy mac and cheese. Mm. Okay. Mac yes, and indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then mm -hmm. we have the then cheese yet? Yeah, is oh, it cheese? They were, they were trying to, to is, warm up the is, cheese just a little bit. This is hot off so. the press, y'all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And we were going to put no cheese. We had, There's a piece of cheese that goes on top of it. Like I said, we were trying to microwave it. We didn't have time to, okay. unfortunately. Yep. So. Okay. It would be some melted Monterey Jack oh. cheese and then top it with Texas toast. That looks good just like that. that <laughs> I know. Okay. Delicious. And this one, sweet potatoes, they say, are very healthy unless you put all of this stuff on them. So mm -hmm. what oh, are we going to exactly. be doing here? So we're going to start with the sweet baked potato and then mm -hmm. some butter. Ooh, yes. Perfect. Lots of... Mm -hmm. Okay, it's my potato. I'll put as much yes, butter on as I exactly. want to. No judgment, Go Mike. Crazy. Okay. No judgment. Just making sure. <laughs> I was getting some stares here from folks off camera. So then... And then you can top it with any meat of your choice, but there we have some shredded chicken. We also have pork, turkey, mm -hmm. any of our meats. Okay. And, and then top it with some cheese. Yes, indeed. Now that, that is a big, mm -hmm. Oh, we mm -hmm. forgot about Sweet the sauce potato. and then put some, some sauce. some chipotle aioli and then you can do some green onions. But it's really just to do it yourself. Whatever you like okay. on your baked potato, we got you. All, All right. right, the second annual Halloween event is happening. Tell us about it. Yeah, so it's gonna be this Saturday from 12 to four and it's an event for the whole family, including your furry friends. So for kids, we'll have pumpkin painting, we'll have face painting, bouncy castle. For parents, we'll have some local SA vendors, including puppy treats and jewelry. And then, just for the puppies, we'll have a costume contest, and the proceeds from that will benefit the Canine for Warriors. And speaking of Canine for Warriors, Tyler Jones is here. Good afternoon. So, who did you bring with us here? Yeah, so this is Mondo. He is a local rescue. Mm -hmm. uh, he came from ACS, which is right next to our location here in San Antonio. How are you, buddy? And what is he going to be doing? He is going to be a service dog for a veteran. Uh, he will be trained, he is trained yeah. for PTSD, TBI, and MSD. TBI okay. is traumatic brain injury. MST is uh, MST uh, military sexual military trauma. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then he's going to meet up with his new. <laughs> what, you, what is on my hands that you smell? I the smell of honey. He smells all that good food that you have. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. There are special treats for good the boy. dogs there, right? Here you go. I yep. promised you this, buddy. There you go. There That's we go. Little dog food, little up. chicken for this little guy here. So, and you, like you said, you take these rescue dogs. You train them for these folks and they meet up with them and he's going to be um, meeting his new owner when? I'm sorry. Uh, so he will meet his new owner here uh, at the first of the mo November. Okay. So he's already passed all of his skill tests and everything. He's ready to go. Way to uh, go, man. He will be in the first six person class here in San Antonio. So Canine for Warriors is started in Florida, but they built a campus here in uh, San Antonio to uh, procure and train dogs here as well as match them up with the veterans. Fantastic. Yeah. I appreciate it. And all the proceeds mm -hmm. from the events coming up go to help out. Them, yes. Right? So the event is completely free, but entrance into the dog costume contents can make a donation to K9 for Warriors. All right. And of and course, anyone can come in costume. Not just anyone. the dogs. Anyone. Oh, want yes. to, go ahead. So and kids eat free when? On Tuesday. So come Saturday, get a taste, and then come back Tuesday with any adult entree. Kids will eat free. And by the way, Tyler, U.S. Army? Veteran. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your Thank service. You. Appreciate that, sir. How's it? Well, I'm not going to even ask. No, no, let him enjoy. He earned right it. He earned it. He, <laughs> he earned did. those kibbles and bits. All right. Don't forget the second annual Halloween at Barbie Cutie Smokehouse is this Saturday, October 22nd from noon to 4. There will be tons of fun for the kids, grown ups, and pups, and of course, delicious food. For more, head to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. And there's dessert for the pups too. And I think oh, the people yeah. as well. Hey, next on SA Live, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a Halloween scavenger hunt. Figure out the clues and get some really fun prizes where you and the family can join this fun event happening all month long. Keep it right here. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's a vital, vital resource. Several hundred feet below us and its daily impact towers over all of us. And of course, we are talking about the Edwards Aquifer. And joining us from the Edwards Aquifer Authority is Mark Freeberg, who is the Executive Director of External and Regulatory Affairs. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so what exactly is the mission of the Edwards Aquifer Authority and the collaborations, partnerships? Why are they so important? Well, so the mission of the Edwards Aquifer Authority is to manage, enhance, and protect the Edwards Aquifer. 
And because it's so vast, we can't do that alone. So it's important that we have as many partnerships and as many collaborations as we can. We partner with our permit holders, first and foremost, the ones who pump the water from the aquifer. We partner with other governmental entities that have similar missions that may overlap ours. And we partner with any interest group that has a passion or a uh, desire to help our mission in managing, enhancing, and protecting that resource. Because I know a lot of people, I mean, you can't visualize it since it is underground, and we only hear, a lot of folks hear about the EAA when it's water restriction time. So the it's more than just a regulatory agency, and there are programs and projects that help the long-term sustainability of this, right? Uh, absolutely. First and foremost, we are regulatory in nature. We, we permit the withdrawals of, of water, but we have a lot of incentivized programs. We consider ourselves a, a regulator through service. Uh, we have what we call spring flow protection programs where we will pay a permit holder not to pump their water when we have times of drought, like now. Uh, when, when they don't pump, it helps spring flow, and you can see the spring flow, so you can see the benefits there. And it also helps bolster the levels of the aquifer, so it helps everybody that uses and relies on the aquifer. And you, s you pay them through the fees that we pay for the water. That's right. right. That's right. When money comes into the, to the EAA through our for management fees, we return that money back into the community to the permit holders to help the resiliency and the sustainability of the aquifer. How do you develop future support for the Edwards Aquifer and its mission? Well, it's important that we have strong education and outreach. We, we have a lot of outreach to the regulated community and just the community in, in general to help understand the, the, the Edwards and how it works. And then we also want to make sure that we can educate the younger generations. That's why we have an education and outreach center uh, where people can go, they can learn about the aquifer, learn how it works. Hopefully that develops a passion, an understanding of conservation that they can take home uh, to their families, share with their friends, and hopefully it, it sparks some desire where we can um, develop future leaders and people to help us manage. That's out there at Morgan's Wonderland Camp, way out in the uh, far north side. Been out there a couple times. Pretty cool place and a nice event coming up too for Halloween, right? Uh, yes, sir. We have a trick or seat coming up um, from now until the until Halloween, until the end of October. You can come out and do a scavenger hunt. And if you come out, you can get some freebies. You can get a, a water bottle, some native seeds. Um, and while supplies last, you can get a camp chair and take home to your family and help uh, spread the word about the Edwards Aquifer. Okay, yeah, it's just a, what, 281, I think Evans Road right up in there. Again, Morgan's Wonderland Camp out there, but very interesting, a lot of really high-tech stuff that the kids would be fascinated with and great uh, educational opportunities out there as well. It's the place to be. Okay, well, don't forget, the Trick or Seat is happening through October 31st. When you complete the scavenger hunt, you'll receive an Edwards Aquifer water bottle, a native seed pack, along with a special edition camp chair, one per family while supplies last. The Edwards Aquifer Authority Education Outreach Center is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Book your free visit at eaaeoc.org or for more information, give them a call at 210-547-2222. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you. Great chatting with you. All right, next on SA Live, worried about holiday weight gain? Get ahead on that game now, how people are losing pounds and inches without having to hit the gym. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. We'll lose inches in weeks. Just in time to see the family for the holidays and for all those family photos, you can do it with a little help from Innovative Lasers of Houston, San Antonio. And here to tell us how is CEO Laura Alexis. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I love that you love what you do. Tell us why you are so passionate about this particular program. I underwent uh, the treatment first. Mm -hmm. I was able to lose all the weight and um, this feeling was indescribable to the point that I needed to radiate to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Um, I opened up a location here in San Antonio and here's my transformation. Wow, there it is. <laughs> look at that before and after. So you're speaking from experience then. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I am. Um, the results were immediate. Mm -hmm. It was too good to be true. Um, nevertheless, I was able to lose all the weight that I intended and um, I created this this journey to help other people. This is why I'm so passionate about it, because right. I was able to see uh, folks before their transformation and then after and seeing their pretty faces and being able to experience the things that they're able to do now is just indescribable. I love it. So tell us about the Zorona laser and how it helps you just lose this fat in, I mean, so quickly. That's right. It's FDA cleared. Mm -hmm. um, 
people are flocking in because of the simplicity behind it. It offers no downtime, no swelling, no bruising, no pain, no heat, no cold. So you literally feel nothing at all. No duele para nada, you know? <laughs> and you get underneath this laser and you get skinny. I know it sounds too good to be true, but we have this machine. What you're seeing on screen right now is a, a microscopic image of a fat cell undergoing treatment. It only takes less than 20 minutes, no más 20 minutos. As you can see at the very top, the fat cell is plump. Before a 20 minute session is done, ya se acabó. The, the fat cells have already <laughs> collapsed and all you're left with is just the shell. Now, uh, it's filtered through the lymphatic system, so it's a very natural procedure. It's very similar to the act of working out and losing weight the natural way. When one does that, we don't destroy fat cells, we shrink them. Right. And this is what we do. And that's exactly what it does. So tell folks who may be looking to make a change but haven't or are hesitant to take that next step, what would you say? Oh my gosh, I would ask you to just make that phone call. I know it sounds too good to be true. And that's the most difficult thing that I've, I've experienced, that the clients are saying, no, but it's not gonna work. It doesn't <laughs> hurt, you know, but honestly, Give us a call. We're here to help you. We're here in San Antonio now. Um, the results are immediate. It's FDA cleared. We have a beautiful, loving staff that's going to walk you through the entire journey from beginning to end. And aquí estamos para apoyar la gente. We're here to help you. That's right. And you've got, of course, a, you know, a team kind of being your cheerleaders and holding you accountable the whole way. And it's nice to have that support. All right. And besides, of course, getting some confidence, health benefits too. Oh, my goodness. Let's talk about the health benefits. So not only do the clients walk better, feel better, but a lot of our clients are getting off their meds. Some of our clients have had fatty liver, diabetes. And this helps all that. Absolutely. And more, okay? Yes. So call now to get more than half off Innovative Lasers of Houston San Antonio Transformation Package. Normally 2400 but you can get it for just $1,000 plus the first 40 callers will get three additional treatments free when they mention SA Live. Just call 210-474-0096 and for more, InnovativeLasersOfHouston.com. Laura, thank you. Thank you for having us. Tomorrow on SA Live, would you like something a little more special than the regular trick or treat candy? We make spectacular Halloween sweets with a local bakery. Plus, we go to a camping themed establishment offering a new fall menu with some yummy eats for the season. All that and a whole lot more tomorrow, 1 p.m., right here on SA Live. Okay, so earlier we asked, who's your favorite scary movie bad guy? Ooh. Alex says, ah. Dr. Frankenfurter, <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. True story. <laughs> Freddy Krueger, yep, please, Sam. <laughs> oh, Chucky. Chucky. Yeah, hands down, Paula. Scary uh, dolls. Michael Meyer. I, mm. I, there's a he little just, demonic he thing He never on speeds there. up, yet he gets everybody. Valerie says, Dracula. Bella Lugosi is Dracula, is always oh, oh, great. Oh. The Wolfman, yep. Lon Chaney Jr., the classics. You ever right. seen, if you want to watch a oh. really fun movie with the kids, mm -hmm. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein? Mm -hmm. And that is just hilarious. Because I'm always well, a big fan so, of, of Abbott and Costello. So. Were, okay. Don't say it. Do not say it. <laughs> And there's, oh, look at Richard showing his girlfriend.